hey you guys i'm here with an easy beautiful project now i'm gonna go ahead and make this this is gonna be so easy it's gonna change your whole decoration for your two-tier tray you can add anything and take away to it now i picked these up at michael's you can go ahead and pick yours up anywhere they're just three mini rolling pins and these are the smaller size because i don't want them too big and i don't want them too small but i found that these are perfect for my two-tier tray and i decided why not make my own they're like 11 to i want to say 15 dollars each if you buy it so don't buy them let's go ahead and make our own and save ourselves some money i'm gonna be using white paint i'm gonna be using different colors the first one i'm gonna color is gonna be just a plain white one i thought it you have to have a white one because the white goes with everything so all i'm gonna do is grab a paintbrush i'm gonna go ahead and paint this white i'm gonna allow it to dry and i will be giving it a second coat make sure you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and go ahead and follow me on instagram if you have it the link is down below so now that it is dry i'm just gonna go ahead and give it a second coat just to make sure that everything is painted take your time you don't want to mess this up you want it to look really nice for your two-tier tray or anywhere you're going to put your decoration in the middle of your table in your living room you want to make sure it comes out super nice and super clean once you have it just like you like it put it down to dry and be careful how you store it so i didn't want to store it flat so i figured out a way just to store it without the rolling pin touching the mat And all I'm going to do it is allow it to dry. That's simple. I'm going to move on to the next one. And for the next one, I'm going to change it up. And I'm going to go ahead and use yellow. I thought yellow would be really fun. And since it's a really nice bright color, I thought it would be perfect. I'm also going to go ahead and use a light pink. I thought that would be perfect for Valentine's, for Easter, for really anything you want to go ahead and add it a light beautiful pink goes well with any decor go ahead and grab any colors you want this is optional you can use pink you can use red you can use white you can do a black one really anything that you want to go ahead and add for your decor customize it it's that easy you can always feel free to customize it to the color that you need if you want it a little hot pink go ahead and do it hot pink when you're doing a DIY, the thing is do it your way. I make it how I want it for my house, but it's just an idea so you can go ahead and make it better. And that's a beautiful pink. Look at how cute that is. That's like a pastel candy color pink, and that is going to go perfect with half of my decor. Look at the color on that. Isn't it beautiful? And it's going to go great with half of the things I made. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little more pink to make it just a little darker. And it's going to come out gorgeous. And that's a perfect pink right there. I just wanted everything to match like always. You know how I love to match my stuff. So I needed the pink a little darker. But it came out perfect. So once you let it dry, just let it dry, let it set for a little bit and move on to the next one. Now for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and use yellow. I thought yellow would be great for summer, for Easter, for just about anything you can think of. Look at the white one. Look at how gorgeous it looks. All I'm going to do is move them around because I'm going to use that one so I put a lid there of paint and that was perfect just to hold it up while it sets and look at how easy that was now let's move on to the next one and you can use any color you want i'm gonna go ahead and use yellow 
I thought yellow would be perfect just to give it a little touch of pop color. It reminds me, you know, of summer, something so beautiful, so delicate. So make sure you give it a proper coating. Take your time. Don't do it messy. Take your time. Do it nice and clean so it comes out beautiful. Spin it around and just do the other side and let it dry. And once it's dry, go ahead and give it a second coat. That's going to help just seal in that beautiful color and it's going to actually let it stand out more. And there you go. Once it's dry, all we're going to do is let it set. And look at how gorgeous that color is. That color reminds me of summer. It actually reminds me of Easter. It reminds me of spring. It's just a plain, gorgeous yellow. So once it's dry, just give it a second coat. Give it another run through. And just let it dry. And make sure it dries full if you're going to go ahead with the next step. You don't want it coloring. You don't want it smearing. You don't want it anything moving off so just let it dry once they're completely dry go ahead and have your glue gun ready in case we need it because you never know and we're going to move on to the next step now as you see i'm just checking to make sure they're dry make sure they are completely dry if you have to leave them overnight to dry go ahead and do so so we can move on to our next step and look at these beautiful little flowers i was just gonna go ahead and add them and then i decided not to now for the first step i'm gonna go ahead and add a little ribbon oh look at how gorgeous this is now these little ribbons to make are so simple i showed you in one of my last videos they're just really easy to make. If you do not know how to make a little bow, go ahead and write it down below. And don't worry, I'll go ahead and show you how to make a little bow really fast. But it's so simple to make a tiny bow. All you need is the right size ribbon. So the first one, I'm going to go ahead and add this black and white buffalo print ribbon. And I thought it was perfect for this one. The color on there stands out beautiful. Turn it around. Look at how gorgeous that is. That is going to make it stand out. All I'm going to do is grab my scissors, trim the excess ribbon, and there you go. Look at how gorgeous that is. That is ready to be displayed on your two-tier tray, in your decoration. Trust me, it's going to stand out once you put it there. It looks really pretty, and the color of it is perfect for summer, for spring, for a lemon theme, for a bee theme. It's going to be perfect with your decoration and it's going to look gorgeous. I'm happy I decided just to add a ribbon to that. I didn't want to add any writing just because I didn't want to limit myself. If I add Easter on here, I could only use it for Easter. If I add thankful, I can only use it for, let's say, Thanksgiving. I want to be able to use it for Mother's Day, for Easter, for Christmas, for my decoration, for Valentine's times i want to be able to use this in all my decor without having to say why now look at how cute this is you can just add this little red ribbon if you're going to go ahead and use it for christmas and look at how cute that is you can use that for christmas for valentine's the decor on here is endless as long as you don't write on it once you write on it you can only use it for that holiday if you write be mine it could only be for valentine's so a little tip is don't write on it because we want to make sure we can use it for every holiday. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and add another black and white buffalo checkered print theme. And look at how cute it is. Oh my God, I'm so happy I added this. This is going to be perfect for Thanksgiving. It's going to be perfect for um, fall. It's going to be perfect for anything I want to add it to it since it doesn't have writing I can use it for everything the next one I'm going to go ahead and use this little white ribbon that I picked up at the dollar store and I'm just going to show you how to make the bow why not look at how easy it is once you pull it you grab the middle super tight and you bring down the sides once you bring down the sides you're going to get a super cute little mini bow that you can just add 
to anywhere look at how gorgeous it came out it was super easy to make you guys all you have to do is try stuff and once you once you make it you can make it for everything if you're gonna make a bowl for this for that you can make it big small medium once you learn how to make a bowl it's very useful for wrapping gifts for decor for christmas you can make it for anything and you can make it any size so don't ever be scared to try something new if you mess up so what throw that away and start over again now look at how i just attach my bow to the middle of the ribbon and now I'm going to take it all the way around and look at how cute that is. That's going to be perfect for Valentine's, Mother's Day, spring, Easter. You can put these decor pieces anywhere you want. And if you want to just change the ribbon, go ahead and change it up. Grab another ribbon. And it's going to work perfect wherever you put it. I was so happy that I made these little DIYs. Customize it however you want. If you want to go ahead and add writing, write your name on there. You can write hugs and kisses, you can write Valentine's, you can write Merry Christmas. It's all optional and you can customize it however you like. Now, I'm really happy with the way they came out. I'm going to use them just like this. And if you guys want me to make my two-tier tray for Valentine's and you want me to make a video, comment down below and ask me to make it and I'll go ahead and film it for you. But I will be putting up a short little video on Instagram. So if you have not followed me on Instagram, go ahead. The link is down below. And just follow me on Instagram. Look at how gorgeous they are. These are ready to put anywhere you like. And you can also give them as a gift. I'm sure if you have a friend or a family member, go ahead and make them one. And until next time, bye you guys.